What's up guys, it's Trax, and today we're gonna to be breaking down some celebrity chains and pendants. Quavo. All right, this is a whole jewelry set for Quavo right here. The first piece that attracts me is this Quavo piece that's actually in and of itself wearing other pieces. The setting could be a notch higher, but it's a tough setting to do, especially in the dreads. You got the rose gold and the eyeglasses. There's not a lot of room to hold the prongs together. So the setter has to be very, very careful because he could damage it and then diamonds are gonna fall out perpetually. They're all hanging on four prong diamond tennis chains. Tennis chain is a four prong chain that has matching size diamonds going all the way around. It's flexible, but it doesn't swing like a regular chain. So the diamonds always face forward. So that's a very desirable chain. A lot of people look for those chains, but they can't, can never really afford them. But these guys got six or seven at a time. A lot of rappers trying to look like that. Gucci Mane. So he's got his 1017 Glacier Gang pendant. It's on a Miami Cuban choker, three rows. Now the setting looks like it was done in a rush because some of these guys, they always want their pieces in a rush and then the setter's just hammering away. That's the only critique on it, but it's heavy in materials. You can see it's a heavy piece, especially the Cuban choker. It's really, really nice. I know this pen is made in the South because I know the designs, I know their setters, especially with this, uh, with this bale. It's, it's a bale that's coming from down there. It's very popular in the South. We don't really make that in New York. The bale is what the chain goes through. So you got this Miami Cuban choker going through the bale. It's a heavy bale. The, the beautiful thing about this piece is that the bale and the chain fit perfectly. And I think they were done at the same time, uh, specifically for, for each other. That's why they fit so good. It's a classic hip hop piece. It's a classic piece to rock out. You got a really intricate piece here. This is something that he was doing, obviously, in his later stage where he was getting something custom made from his ideas, from his designs. The quality is very high. I could already tell just by the picture. You got graduated diamonds coming out of the leopards mouths that are that are connected. Graduated diamonds are diamonds starting from small to large. You got the smaller stones, roughly about seven pointers, and they're going all the way up to 15 or 20 pointers right down there in the center. So, they, so that gives it an interesting look that's taking jewelry to another level. So the more pointers, the larger the diamond, the more expensive the diamond. When you're doing that, something that's Intricate and interesting, it's not all about the most expensive. That's too crude. You want to work on an artistic sense. This piece definitely achieves that. It, it could go even farther. The only thing I would say it might be missing is a little bit of color or a little bit of texture on this band that's going around. But other than that, it's an immaculate piece. Offset. So here you got a multi-tier collection of offsets jewelry. My most favorite piece out here is that Miami Cuban and rose gold. So you got a Cuban link and you got a Miami Cuban link. A lot of people call different links by different names. It's a curb link or a Cuban link. It has more spaces in between the links. This is a tighter link. It's very, very strong. It's almost an industrial strength link. It's very heavy. It's beautiful in gold. It's really an, almost an investment piece. You got another little mini Miami that's iced out under. That's also very nice. That's holding up that uh, Freakazoid piece, which is another classic that turned a lot of heads. That top one, that top choker's got big diamonds in it. They look like at least 70 pointers. He bought them, I'm sure, at the right price, but those particular diamonds have a little hint of yellow on them. The most interesting piece, however, is this cross that's on there. It's got a princess cut pink in the center and princess cuts on each corner. And then, care, and then this is two and a half care, but it's a pink stone. So I paid 220 just for this piece right here. Then after this piece, I got the offset. So I got the letters actually dripping. There's a certain difficulty level on creating a drip piece because it has to do with the artist that's making the model on the computer. 3D printing pendants started probably in the late 90s and it was very rare to find a good 3D model maker. Now you can find people that are gonna sculpt your face you know, uh, it, it, better than it is in real life. When you're 3D printing, you're printing in wax. And you can have it with the diamond holes ready or you can have a hand setting afterwards, but usually you're printing in wax and then you mold it and cast it into gold. So here Offset is wearing a whole collection, a whole slew of jewelry. He's got layered a bunch of tennis chains. Those are very expensive. Now the quality control is just a big chunk with a lot of diamonds. Very nice setting on that, but very simple, very straightforward piece. The only piece that I haven't seen before is this big drip piece. It's a raindrop drop top. It looks nice. It's a, it's a nice setting. It, it goes all the way around. It's a lot of materials, a lot of diamonds in that piece. The way he layered his pieces is classic. Migos, they're the best at their jewelry game. They started the trend for a lot of jewelry. 
I mean, it's very hard to tell who really, really started it. Gucci Man had it. They were kind of following behind Gucci's footsteps, but they put their own spin on it. And, but they took the jewelry to another level. Two chains. You got two chains wearing a, a large variety of different types of pieces that are manufactured, looks like, by different jewelers. You have this NS piece at the top that's white and rose gold, different layering, different size diamond. That's a very nice piece. It was done very nice. It's a straightforward 3D model, but the setting on it looks good. Then you have something that looks a little bit older. It's that true piece at the bottom. Hanging on a tennis chain, it's a nice tennis chain, it's yellow gold, completely different color of gold, completely different model maker on that. What I like the most so far is these interesting diamond chains that he's wearing at the top. Those are completely different and together it looks like a wild party on his neck and they're going down at different layers. The one that's hanging the lowest is the faro piece with the Cuban rim on a Cuban chain. The chains are connected directly to the piece. I just wanted a piece that was uh, nostalgic of something like you think you would see on Nas or something like that. More of like a king piece. And then you have some really sick chokers with baguettes. That's probably his most recent pieces added to his collection. The baguettes are a different shape of diamonds. They weren't always popular. It's a very simple shape. It doesn't have that many facets. It's not gonna give you that type of shine that you're looking for. If you want more pop, you're gonna go with round diamonds. But if you're bored of that and you wanna do something new, then you go with these baguettes. Vic Mensa. So here you have Vic Mensa wearing something completely different from all the trends. This is really artistic pieces of jewelry. It looks like 18 karat gold. It might be a designer piece. It doesn't look like it was custom made. Maybe the mask was added onto it later, maybe not. It's not the fully iced look. It's not that, but if you're more into art and you're more artistic, this is the, the look you're, you're trying to go for. So these are little pumps, signature pieces. It's got a specific type of Cuban link that was modified just for him. It's flooded with massive amounts of carats of diamonds. Very high quality. This is a Miami Gucci link. It has both Miami Cubans and the Gucci link. So this is the first one ever made. Got two safety locks, so it'll never pop on him. Then he's got the little pump underneath that with the baguette teeth, rose gold hair, different colors of gold. It's a heavy hitter pieces, very expensive. He might have spent at least 300,000 on it. Nobody wants to spend that much money on a piece unless they're a young dude with money to burn. Future. All right, Future's pulling out all the stops on this chain set. He's got one on top of the other tennis chains. He's got a very interesting two-tone Miami Cuban, all right? When you're doing two tones, that's more intricate. That means that links have to be assembled completely differently and it's made to order. But the one that takes the cake is the one that's shining on top. It's a graduated tennis chain. This particular one, it looks like the larger ones are one character. So those are expensive diamonds and they look very, very clear. That chain itself is gonna be over 100,000. The, the chokers and the Cubans are 50,000 a piece. So he's got a lot on his neck right there. It's a little bit more grown up. It's not the little pump with the lean pouring out and colors and all this other stuff. Very nice though. Wiz Khalifa. So Wiz here has got some really interesting pieces. He's using gemstones. He's being more creative than the average rapper. He's got a couple of gold ropes. And a little tennis chain, got the cam piece, that's a fully iced piece, very straightforward, very simple. You've got this interesting center stone on this hard pendant that's going around. That particular piece might be a citrine in the center or an amber, plays interestingly with the rest of his jewelry. Trippy Red. So Trippy Red, he's got a really unique jewelry style here. First and foremost, he's got this monster diamond chain. It's fully iced, it's custom made just for him. He's got a Gucci link mixed in there. That's a very expensive chain. He spent a lot of money on that. He's got a classic also Jesus head on there that looks like he's got black diamonds. It's a dope piece with the white diamond crown. That's something more traditional, more standard. He's got the ball and chain piece on as well. Black diamonds with the white diamond spikes. Cartoon characters, multicolor, very cartoony. Young. Personally, I think that little pump takes the cake when it comes to these younger dudes. He's got beautiful pieces and they're done really, really nice, but these are really dope. And right up there, it's a matter of opinion. Meek Mill. Meek Mill is a heavy hitter jewelry trend setter. The Dream Chasers piece, everybody copied that layering. They had different logos, different sayings in them. 
Uh, I've seen them all, I've made a couple myself. Of course, you've got the signature Cuban that every rapper, every heavy hitter has to have. Fully iced, that one's done well as well. He's got a bunch of tennis chains. That's where the money is, that's what the big boys have. And then, of course, you've got the picture frame pendant. He made that a trend as well. Lost loved ones, family members, some people are doing their animals that they've lost. Very big trendsetter, so people are looking up to Meek Mill. Tyler, the creator. Here, Tyler, the creator, is wearing something that is very, very unique, very, very interesting. It looks like a designer piece. It looks like something that Louis would make or Gucci would make or some very high-end designer. This was something that was manufactured that took a lot of time. No corners were cut on this piece. Everything was thought about, everything was proportionate, everything was done correct, and this is something you might see in a museum one day when he's done with it. A little Uzi Vert. Little Uzi Vert, classic rap jewelry pieces. This is probably earlier in his career because he's just got a little uh, Cuban chain on with one row of diamonds, maybe 20,000, 25,000. Doesn't compare to what he probably has today. He's got his heart with the number two, fully iced. Here Uzi Vert is wearing his Uzi. Okay, that's a pretty good 3D model. It has all of the little features of the Uzi and things like that. You've got a really interesting puffy Gucci link with diamonds on the side, that's a very interesting chain. And what's hanging on it is this Megalodon tooth. On that tooth, the diamond quality is very high. I could tell by the way they react with the light from the camera. So that piece takes the cake out of all of them. Here you have a, one of the most difficult pieces of jewelry to manufacture, which is a custom link. It's difficult to do because the links have to interact with, with one another organically. So you gotta have $100,000 to get started. That's the whole point of jewelry. Everybody wants a piece like that. Not everybody could get it, and that's why jewelry is what it is.